Shemot, Exodus 7. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, See, I have made you an Elohim to Pharaoh, and Aharon, your brother, shall be your prophet. You shall speak at all that I command you, and Aharon, your brother, shall speak unto Pharaoh, that he send at the children of Yasharel out of his land. And I will harden at Pharaoh's heart, and multiply at my signs, and at my wonders in the land of Mitzrayim. But Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you, that I may lay at my hand upon Mitzrayim, and bring forth at my armies, and at my people, the children of Yasharel, out of the land of Mitzrayim, by great judgments. And the Mitzrayim shall know that I am Yahuwah. When I stretch forth my, at rather, when I stretch forth at my hand upon upon Mitzrayim, and bring out at the children of Yasharel from among them, and Moshe and Aharon did as Yahuwah commanded them, so they so did they. And Moshe was fourscore years old, and Aharon fourscore and three years old, when they spoke unto Pharaoh. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe and unto El Aharan, saying, When Pharaoh shall speak unto you, saying, Show a miracle for you, then you shall say unto El Haran, rather El Aharan, Take at your rod and cast it before Pharaoh, and it shall become a serpent. And Moshe and Aharon went in unto Pharaoh, and they did so as Yahuwah had commanded. And Aharon cast down at his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers, now the magicians of Mitzrayim, they also did in like manner with their enchantments. For they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents. But Aharon's rod swallowed up at their rods. And he hardened Pharaoh's heart, that he hearkened not unto them as Yahuwah had said. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Pharaoh's heart is hardened. He refuses to let the people go. Get you unto Pharaoh in the morning. Lo, he goes out unto the water, and you shall stand by the river's brink, against he come. And the rod which was turned to a serpent shall you take in your hand, And you shall say unto him, Yahuwah el Hohai of the Ivrim has sent me unto you, saying, Let my et people go, that they may serve me in the wilderness. And behold, hitherto you would not hear. Thus says Yahuwah, In this you shall know that I am Yahuwah. Behold, I will smite with the rod that is in my hand upon the waters which are in the river, and they shall be turned to blood. And the fish that is in the river shall die, and the river shall stink, and the Mitzrayim shall loathe to drink of the water of the river. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, Say unto Aharon, Take your rod, and stretch out your hand upon the waters of Mitzrayim, upon their streams, upon their rivers, and upon their ponds, and upon all their pools of water, that they may become blood, and that there may be blood throughout all the land of Mitzrayim, both in vessels of wood 
and in vessels of stone. And Moshe and Aharon did so as Yahuwah commanded. And he lifted up the rod and smote at to the waters that were in the river in the sight of Pharaoh and in the sight of his servants. And all the waters that were in the river were turned to blood. And the fish that was in the river died, and the river stank, and the Mitzrayim could not drink of the water of the river, and there was blood throughout all the land of Mitzrayim. And the magicians of Mitzrayim did so with their enchantments, and Pharaoh's heart was hardened. Neither did he hearken unto them, as Yahuwah had said. And Pharaoh turned and went into his house, neither did he set his heart to this also. And all the Mitzrayim dug round about the river for water to drink, for they could not drink of the water of the river. And seven days were fulfilled after that Yahuwah had smitten at the river.